Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch coming to you very quickly with a little bit of a word of encouragement. I've been getting a couple of calls about uh, my uh, message on what shall we do with the wounded, about how to deal with people uh, maybe that have committed violations, uh, maybe hurt you, whatever the case may be. And we have a, a whole broad spectrum of, of situations like this from children, parent uh, relationships, husband and wife relationships, whatever the case may be. I think one of the things that's so important to understand about dealing with folks that uh, we have differences with is to understand the mercy and the grace that we have received. And that's very important. For example, with children, sometimes it's very easy to be overbearing with them because we're so afraid that we're trying to be overly cautious with them to make sure they don't commit some of the same mistakes we did or some mistakes that other people that we know did. So then we kind of bear down on them a little bit uh, more and it makes them kind of, you know, when they get out of the house, take off somewhere uh, or act differently uh, when they're not at home. So I think one of the ways that the scripture teaches us to deal with this is to be honest with the children in this way to say to them, uh, you know, in fact, I've said this, I don't know how many times, that it's not wise for a man to say, this is my house, or even a mom, a single mom to say, this is my house. Uh, you know, because if I do that, when I commit an error and I'm going to commit error, then I have set myself up to my child to say, well, if this is my house, you got to go by my rules. Well, what happens when I make a mistake? I have to be accountable for that. But I learned a long time ago that if I would say this is God's house, God has provided us this place to live. And in the Bible, there's rules for dad, there's rules for mom, there's rules for the kids in the Bible. And as a result of that, you know, dad might be able to stay up till 11 o'clock and still get up at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock and go to work where a child that is in the 8th grade or ninth grade or whatever can't do that and don't need to do that. And if it's explained in, in the order of responsibility and accountability, then it helps us to understand that God provided the place for us to live. Dad has rules, mom has rules, kids have rules, and everybody has rules under the auspices of the scripture. And I need to take the word of God and break down those things to my children and then even to husband and wife, the responsibilities we have to each other. It's a great principle to work by because it benefits us greatly to help us understand that we're trying to work together. I mean, dad, even though he's the provider or mom in many cases is the provider, that doesn't mean that, that they get to do anything they want. I've told people many, many times, I've pastored a long time, and I've told people many, many times, I am accountable, just like anybody else is accountable, and we have to be responsible, and, and nobody likes that, because when you get older, and you feel like you can make some decisions, and what we call uh, sometimes walking around sense, when you think you've got enough sense to make some decisions, it's hard to, it's hard to mind God. When a young person uh, is coming up, they think they know most everything, as we all did, and then they learn as they get older. And sometimes I just want to encourage you, particularly the parents today, I want to encourage you that sometimes the battles, you know, are just are not that great. Sometimes the issues, when you look at it in the long run, are really not that big a deal. So if we'll be led by the Spirit, guided by the Spirit, God will bless us. So I hope today that something will be said that will be an encouragement to you that will help you understand and help me be reminded always that God has provided everything for us. As far as dealing with folks and, and forgiving people and, and, and trying to reconcile, uh, people have said, I can't do that. Well, we can do that in Jesus' name, and we'll do that by the grace that we have, that the grace we have received will be appreciated. God bless you. We love you. Have a great day.